I hate to be the one to break the news to you, bro, but if you're cold calling right now, it is completely dead, okay? People do not care. Every business owner that you're trying to contact is completely sick of hearing from you, okay? It's been ruined by millions of people getting into the space, millions of people cold calling. These videos around cold calling live are getting hundreds of thousands of views, literally, and there's hundreds of these videos online because hundreds of thousands of people are cold calling and they're all cold calling exactly the same people. They're all going after the exact same entrepreneurs. These people are sick of hearing from you. They do not pick up the phone. Even if they do pick up the phone, guess what? They're not booking a call because they're going to realize, oh shit, this is a cold call. No, thank you. You've probably had this happen if you've cold called before. Okay. But it's not only these online people. Also, you have literal corporations. You have literal actual, real, big companies that have centers for cold calling. that have databases and they recycle their... Uh, leads every couple of months they keep calling the same leads they have the whole industry's information they keep 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 on calling right first of all how do you expect to compete that's one second of all how do you expect these business owners not to be sick okay they are sick of these people they are sick of cold calling okay we we, we like we've reached a breaking point cold calling is dead right business owners are done and they do not want to be pitched anymore all right, in this video, I want to break down why I'm not cold calling right now, but making this YouTube video instead, and how you can copy me and join our clients at Creator OS. They get similar results. Here are some results. You can read through them if you like. 400 subs in two weeks, inbound calls are getting booked. From no calls to booking consistently with YouTube content, started posting 20 days ago, and obviously more. You can read through these if you like. There's more on me. There's more on my Instagram. There's more in my other YouTube videos, but right now, I just want to get straight into the YouTube video. Okay, so the first reason why cold calling is completely dead and why I do not recommend you do it is because of the association phenomenon. Okay, so for example, Hermosi, what do you associate Hermosi with? Value, school, acquisition.com, $100 million offers. Why? Value because he gives you a lot of value. School because he's wearing a school hat and $100 million offers because he wrote that book and he walks around with it everywhere. Maybe not now because now he's walking around with $100 million leads, but $100 million offers. It's in a lot of his thumbnails. It's in all his bios, right? Obviously, he just talks about it. That's why you associate him with that. Okay. Andrew Tate, same thing, except different associations. You have the Red Bull community, cigars, kickboxing, right? You associate him with that. Why? Because it's literally what he appears around. Okay. And that's associations. Associations are super powerful, and what our goal is in business is to have the most powerful associations. Okay, business owners automatically associate certain feelings with you based on where they learn about you from. Okay, that is probably the most important sentence of this entire video. Business owners automatically associate certain feelings with you based on where they learn about you from. Okay, the exact same thing happens with you, and in particular with where you get your clients from. So, for example, when you're cold calling, what do business owners who get cold called ten times per day think of cold callers? Okay, what do they associate a cold caller with? They associate them with a kid, because a lot of kids call call, with somebody who's desperate, because if you had a business, if you had referrals, if you had people coming to you, if you had money to spend on ads, if you were a big player in the game, if you had a, a YouTube audience, you wouldn't be cold calling. So you're seen as desperate, you're seen as unprofessional, you're seen as broke, and you're seen as pushy. Because once you call someone for the very first time and you're already objection handling them because they do not want to freaking speak to you, obviously you're going to be seen as pushy, right? It's natural. So this is what you're, you get associated with, okay? And guess what? Even if you're different, even if you're not a kid, if you're not desperate, if you're very professional, if you have a lot of money, right? Somehow, if you're cold calling, and if you're not pushy, if you're just a super chill dude, you will be seen this way anyway, due to this association, okay? All because you cold call, okay? What we are looking for is we are looking for a lever where we are going to be associated with high status. We're going to be seen as likable, knowledgeable, not needy, and competent. And POV... When you use this acquisition method, even if you're going to be, even if you're different, if, you, if you're not high status, if you're needy, if you're, you know, broke, if you're not competent, you will be seen this way anyway, due to this association. So then what's this lever? Okay. As you can probably tell from the title of this video and from what I've said in the intro and from the fact that I'm recording a YouTube video right now, this lever is YouTube. And you also know that if you've ever watched my channel before, because my channel is literally based around creating YouTube videos. Okay. This is this lever. I have around 500 subs right now. I'm posting videos every single day because, well, one of the reasons is this association, te it's association tendency. There are a bunch of other reasons why I'm posting on YouTube, but this is one of them. And it's one that is very applicable to if you're cold calling, which is why I'm mentioning it. Okay. And this is why instead of cold calling, like it's 2015, which 2015, it was nine years ago, by the way. Nine, like, it's mad. I have a cousin that was born in 2016 and he's eight freaking mad i still cannot believe how fast time is flying but nine years ago is a, a, quite a while bro if you're still doing what was working nine years ago i mean you gotta get with the times you know doing what worked one year ago 
doesn't really work anymore. And I know, because I was making money in the space a year ago. And guess what? This year, I tried making money the same way. They don't freaking work. That's why I'm on YouTube, okay? Uh, I've decided to make this YouTube video that you're watching now, because it's not 2015, it's 2024. And instead of building your traditional SMA where you cold call, where you send cold DMs, guess what? I'm building a creator business. And I recommend you do too, okay? Uh, what, what a creator business is, is where you literally create content, okay? It's that's what it's based around, okay? It doesn't matter what sort of service you offer, what sort of delivery mechanism you offer, if it's coaching, SMMA, a creator business basically means that you just create content, people come to your brand, right? They see you, they start learning about you, they start, they start watching your YouTube, and then you have an audience. Guess what? You can very easily monetize it by just call to action it or funneling them down into a community, like a WhatsApp community that I have, which you can join, by the way, for a bunch of free resources. Key point is just you create content to get attention, to build an audience, and then you present an offer, and these people end up buying because of the trust that you've built, okay? That is a creator business, that is what I'm building, and it's what I'm gonna show you how to build later on in this video. But before I do so, one last thing I wanna do is a volume comparison, okay? Because cold calling versus YouTube, this is another one of the key sort of concepts that I think you need to grasp if you're cold calling right now, because it's probably, like not understanding this concept, it's probably, it's probably what's keeping you cold calling better than posting YouTube right now, okay? So first of all, cold calling, like one-to-one, -one, one to many yes, we understand this YouTube video, 2K views, 1.7K views, 1.3, right? hundreds of views, I make one video, I get hundreds of views or thousands of views, every one of these views is interested in what I, ha what I have to offer, guess why? Because all these videos are targeted, all these leads are high quality because they're on YouTube and they're literally looking to have a problem solved clearly because they clicked on an educational video, okay, whereas with cold calling, you're contacting business owners who they, 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 they may not even need your solution and it's one-to-one, -one. one cold call, probably like one to 0 0.05 because literally most people don't even pick up right but let, let's just say it's one-to-one -one. let's give you the benefit of the doubt let's assume everyone picks up they're not interested in your offer 99 percent of people won't be interested okay but let's assume they are okay one-to-one -one, everyone is interested that still does not compare to one to two thousand okay do you realize the discrepancy here doesn't make any sense why people are still cold calling i literally do not understand that okay 50 dollars 50 people, people contacted nope because pickup rate is like five to fifteen percent max so reaching two to seven people max for hours of work where you could spend that same time making YouTube content for pretty much the entire week, if you want to speed run it. And guess what? You're getting thousands of views. And in the space of 28 days, you're getting 6.3 thousand views. Imagine 6.3 thousand cold calls. That's 200, 300 cold calls a day. And, more, and still most of these people aren't interested. Most of these people are interested and they're coming inbound to me. I have the frame. I have the status. You, when you're cold calling, you do not have the status. Okay. These people have all of the leverage and all the framing they need. And you're literally just there like a desperate little kid asking for their money, asking to hop on a call. Doesn't really make sense, okay? And you get 200 hours of people watching your content, people seeing your face, people consuming your stuff. And you get a lot of subscribers, you build up an audience that you're gonna be able to leverage for the foreseeable future, okay? Because YouTube is not going anywhere. What, what I want you to understand is that the process here and the process in terms of how anybody buys is completely different than what cold calling um, sort of assumes, right? What happens is, let's say a local business owner, I'm using local business owners because that's what most people are, that's who most people are cold calling, right? But any sort of business owner, if they have a problem, they're going to search for solutions on Google or on YouTube. Most likely on YouTube nowadays, because why not? Because it's a video, right? Um, but even if not, Google is owned by, or YouTube is owned by Google. So it doesn't really matter where they search, but let's just say they search on YouTube. YouTube has 4.9 million, billion, sorry, Jesus. 4.9 billion monthly active users. Like, everyone who has the money to afford internet is on YouTube, is on Google, is using the internet because YouTube pretty much is the internet at this point, okay? They search for solutions on YouTube, okay? Because, it, like, where else would they be searching? TikTok? I don't think so, okay? They see your video, right, where you demonstrate competence, you demonstrate that you're likable, and you demonstrate that you have status, right? In terms of status, I'm not saying, like, you know, fancy cars and all that sort of stuff. I'm saying that... In terms of status, I'm saying that you are more competent than them in the matter that you're trying to help them in. It's very similar to competence, okay? Status is where these people come to you. You're watching this video right now, you are watching me. I'm teaching you. I have the status. I'm more knowledgeable in scaling a YouTube channel, probably, and monetizing it because you're the one watching me. If you saw these results and you're like, this is shit, you wouldn't be watching right now, okay? Which is why I have the status, okay? They see that you have the status, okay? Because you're going to be demonstrating competence, you're going to be presenting your process. And then guess what? After they see competence, they see that you're likable and they see that you can help them because you have higher status than them in the problem that you're helping them solve. They end up booking a call, okay? And you can either book a call or you can join the WhatsApp group. This is my phone or you can do whatever the hell you want here. Okay, this is the way I recommend you structure it though. And um, definitely have a book a calling. People are going to book calls. 
That is the process. Okay. Any business owner that has a problem, they go through this motion. They don't wait for somebody to cold call them and then look for their potential partner to help them scale their business on the phone. They don't look for strangers on the phone who got their number off their website where any kid can get their number off of their website. They don't look for their partners there. They look for their partners on YouTube. They look for people who are proven, who they see that they can actually help them and who've done it before. Okay. That is where the top clients seek their partners. Okay. And optional is, as I said, a WhatsApp group in between, uh, where here between them seeing your vid and then booking a call, what you have is you have a WhatsApp group where you literally just send out a voice note all and you joins, have a little conversation and book calls through here. This works exceptionally well. Okay. I have a separate video about that, how I booked five calls in 24 hours, literally right after creating this WhatsApp group. Um, you can check out that video after this one. It's on my channel probably now. I'm going to make sure it's posted before this one. But yeah, you can check out the video and learn how I use the WhatsApp group more in depth. Um, and then guess what? After they book the call, they close because they are literally your super fans because they've, they, they're they the ones watching your content on YouTube, right? They actually care about you. They have emotional investment because you, you, like you didn't cold call them. They came to you for the solution, right? So they're way more likely to close. They like you a lot and they're way better clients in the long term too. Okay, so that is basically the process. Uh, that is why I'm making this video instead of cold calling right now. That is why I'm going to go ahead and make way more YouTube videos right after I'm finished with done with well, well, right after I'm done with this one. Um, but before we do that, and before you go ahead and watch these videos, if you want help building your own creator business, where as I said, you create content to build attention around your product, and then you present an offer to these people, you you redirect that attention to your product or service and you monetize your audience that way, then you can book in a call. We can talk about how that would look like and we can see what you can offer to the marketplace with your own creator business. Okay, I appreciate you watching this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow.